So hello, um, thank you for taking time off your extremely busy schedule, especially it's considering it's like one month before re-election. And so um, I was wondering if you could please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Anjali Kasser, and I am currently on the Cupertino Union School Board as uh, one of the board trustees. And the election you're talking about is I'm running for my second term, and I really, for the simple reason that I think it is really important for us to be part of the policy making team. All right, <laughs> perfect. So um, I was wondering how, you know, especially considering that you are a board trustee. Mm -hmm. of um, the Cupertino Union School District. Um, how has education impacted your life? Um, I believe education is very, very important in everybody's life. I think the one thing that we need to be sure is that every child has the opportunity to get be educated and be able to provide um, better understanding of the world because if we have the education we can do whatever we want to do in the future. So I always, always encourage not only my children but all the kids in Cupertino and wider in the Bay Area to be, to find a way to be educated and as adults it is our responsibility to see that the kids have that opportunity. Um, I myself uh, have a master's degree from Stanford in policy organizational leadership studies because I wanted to be sure that when I got on the school board that I understood the policy and the organization that goes along in this country because I did not grow up here and having a previous degree in health administration and health sciences um, with administration um, well, once I was on the board I wanted to further learn and the only way you can learn is by going back to school and uh, understanding what the academia world talks about it. So um, again, to encourage everyone to be motivated, you know, by getting a degree, you're not just en uh, encompassing yourself to do just whatever you get your degree in. You know, I, using myself as an example, my first degree was in healthcare. And I worked for over 15 years in that field. At the same time, I was a very, very active volunteer in the schools where my children were going and in the community. And then once I got on the school board, I just I thought, oh, education is, um, is a whole different uh, arena. So I went back to college and got a second degree. So it is just how we need to be sure that our youngsters are always encouraged and motivated to continue to learn and learn and we should be lifetime learners you know it, it doesn't stop at kindergarten or at high school or in college i think we as adults should continue to be learners and learn all the time and teach you know it's just learning as you're learning you're teaching as you're teaching you're learning so i i think everyone needs to have that opportunity and we are lucky enough to live in the area where there are lots of opportunities. When you were in high school and about to go into college, mm -hmm. like, did you really know like what area you would go into or did you kind of like find out while you are going through college? I didn't know what area I was going to go into to be honest because um, first when I was in, co in high school I thought I love math and I should go to engineering. Then I got into college and I thought, no, I like sciences. And so I started, um, you know, did a couple of years in uh, uh, physical therapy, thinking, oh, that's the field I want to be in. And then getting along, I said, no, I don't think I want to do that. I want to do more about business and more about administration. So by the time I got done with college, my first set of degrees, I, I, ha I was doing business administration <laughs> or in healthcare more than anything else. But healthcare was my passion. And so it does, it's not necessary to know in high school as to what your future is going to bring you. But going further, even though I came out with a degree in health, and health sciences, I did work in the health industry for over 15 years, but then I also decided to change my path and career and um, you know, went and started doing more about education. Um, you know, being a board member and learning what how the education system works here, which is very, very different than where I grew up. So, um, 
I think in our lifetimes we have four or five careers and I'm right now on my third one because right now currently I'm, I'm besides being on the school board I am also the executive director of a local nonprofit. So that is in another area because I have health sciences and education and now nonprofit. Wow, well, that is a lot of careers. Like for um, so then for your like first job, did your uh, degree have like a really strong correlation with it, or was it like not so much? I it did because it was uh, it was a degree in um, health administration, and what I was doing in my first set of jobs, I worked as um, a manager, then a director, then a managing director. The very last thing was uh, for a pathology lab, so I worked in the hospital system in the family clinic system managed a number of uh, physician practices and then you know uh, before I retired from my healthcare career I was managing a pathology lab with over 25 employees a seven million dollar budget and so and then I retired from that and started my second batch of career which is kind of correlating with my third one right now because to because of my passion for education I wanted to be on the board and ran for the election, was elected, went back to school so that I could get a background in education. So went back to the graduate school of, um, the Stanford Graduate School of Education, got a second master's in the organization and policy piece of it. And so that piece of it helped me with my governance on being on the school board and with the policy setting. And then the nonprofit piece just comes in because of the way I, want, I like to give back to the community and be part of the community, and so I'm managing a nonprofit right now. Um, well, I was just wondering what the nonprofit was called and you know what it does. Um, it is the local chamber of commerce, and what our our goal is to basically be advocates for the businesses. Uh, so I work for the Cupertino Chamber of Commerce as their get executive director. And we are uh, we help business we help small businesses set up in the community. We uh, provide workshops. We are an advocate arm for them, and uh, so that if they have issues with the city, we are there to help them through them or with other legislation related issues. Uh, we also provide a platform where small businesses can get together and meet each other and exchange. Uh, ideas and you know grow each other's business because as a small business it's very difficult to network so we are also a networking arm for them. If you had like any any advice you would be you would want to give to high school students or you know even like elementary or middle school students what would you say it would be? I would say that um, you should you know take your time at school understand the subjects um, Take the opportunity, especially for high school students. I think you all have such great potentials and opportunities in school. Besides all the academic offerings that are there, there are other things that are offered, you know, the various clubs and the sports teams. And so I think as a high school student, you should try and balance and see all that and see and, you know, enjoy what you're doing. And if you like a certain subject, you know, go and start, learn more about it. So then maybe when you get to college, you'll be, it'll be easier for you to decide what you want to do. But if you don't like something right now, don't turn it off because it could be a possibility that you just happen not to find the niche in that subject. You know, every sub, it, all of us, all of you have a gift. And it just sometimes it takes time for everyone to find that. Some can do it sooner, some can do it later, some can do it three times. You know, it will. It just, it just. You just keep learning and um, don't be pressured. But at the same time, learn how to manage your various uh, roles that you have. I know a lot of high school students in our, our area take a lot of subjects, and I would say if you can balance balance it fine, but don't be pressured by your peers. Just because another friend is doing it doesn't mean you have to do it. Just means if you can do it, do it, but don't do it, just trust yourself out because not every child is saying. I would say be passionate about what you're doing and you know try following your dreams and you will um, be successful. You'll definitely find something that you will um, be successful in. It to motivate, look at what you enjoy doing as a um, teenager, as a high school student, 
and then explore that further and see how that may benefit you in the future and just um, take every day as a unique day and learn from it. All right, yeah. Thank you for coming and, uh, um, you know, I, along with the rest of the Nocturne Dreams, wish you the best of luck on your election. Thank you.